Alright guys, so today's video is pretty much a breakdown and a overlook of the online tournament that we did for Brian, Lott Brian Lattimore. Um, I'm going to give you guys the results, where we ended, how we did it, how the tournament went, a little bit of everything, and uh, what we learned from it, I guess. So, me and Adam fished it together pretty much. Uh, I think there was, what, maybe two days we didn't fish yeah, each other? Yeah, every, just about every every chance we got to fish together we did and uh, the results ended up being well first of all let me give a shout out to Joe Camarino Camarino yep. I think that's how you say it he ended up taking first place with 114 inches which is freaking pretty outstanding for five fish um, yeah and he actually let's see the the tournament previous to this he took first place too with close to the same amount of uh, amount of inches and he's from the Dallas area so he does a lot of fishing up in the Dallas area I forget which lakes he said he fishes but he was whacking them that's for yep. sure so he's a uh, back-to-back champ so shout out to him for winning back-to-back -back. and then second place we got my boy Adam with 112.5 inches which is still freaking good yeah and it wasn't it wasn't an easy 112 and a half inches none of this was easy I think we I did, like the last two weeks it was hard just to upgrade a fish yeah it, it came down it was down to the wire like the last couple of days were just so intense the la that last weekend was a super intense and so so with joe let's we'll tell him that his biggest fish joe's biggest fish was 23 inches that was his kicker fish he actually had two 23 inches a 22 and three quarters 22 and three quarters and a 22 and a half uh, my biggest fish was 23.25 inches so I had a bigger fish than Joe by a quarter inch but he still won because his overall length were bigger than mine and my smallest was 21 and three quarters and another thing um, I know a lot of you that don't do tournament fishing um, you don't really understand the mechanics of tournament this was a an online and we measured inches so they have tournaments that go by pounds five biggest fish most weight and then the online tournaments go by inches so we had to use a special measuring board so no, nobody could cheat you submit your photos and all of that cool stuff i actually even had some fish that were i got a penalty on because the mouth wasn't closed all the way so mm -hmm. they check it they really check it real good and and even when you submit your pictures you got a, a unique code so you can't just go out oh and then the uh pictures they're geocached so when you submit a picture it's able to see if you're on a body of water somewhere and the one thing that was different about this tournament than most online tournaments is you could fish private water so you go to your pond in your backyard yep. you go to the creek at the park or you come out to a big lake so really you know i don't even think joe has a boat honestly right and he I, took first sure. place i think he does a lot of bank fishing which if he did nothing but bank fishing man that is that's that's uh, top of the line stuff yeah. there. I mean, I spent a lot of money to come out here and get beat by Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it, they made it to where it's pretty much even all across the board. You can't cheat. So I thought that was a uh, pretty pretty dang cool. And then in third place is where I came in third place, I, which I'm happy that me and Adam got top three. You know, for two guys just coming out here, win top for both of us to be in top three. That. That was pretty dang cool. Between me, Eddie, and Joe, we were battling for first place. Oh, Eddie man. was in first for a while. That is probably the biggest fish up. My PB before this was 11.68. I think that takes the cake. That takes the cake. Rank number one at 105 inches. Oh my God. Oh, I was in first. Ooh, Eddie. This is, this is gonna seal the deal right here, big dog. Guys, Adam caught this freaking stud. 23, so that puts you two inches. About two inches ahead of first. Joe was in first and it went back down to second. Eddie's back, I mean, it went back and forth the whole month. It went for the whole month. And if you guys saw the previous videos, which a lot of you did and liked those, you guys saw how it was just like neck to neck the whole way. And it actually came down to the very last day, last minute, yeah. actually. Yep. Adam was in first till the, like the last couple of hours of the tournament. Joe came from back behind and just passed him. And man, it was, it was crazy. So my five biggest fish, I had a 25.25, and then my smallest was a 21. So that 25.25, if you watched the previous videos, that was that that fish that we think was at least 12 pounds. That was a 25. So and that actually came from my lake. Yeah, that came from his lake, and man, it was 
you know, I probably would have never caught that fish if it wasn't for this tournament. So, right. Because, I mean, we would have never been fishing as hard as we did during this tournament. It's probably one of the hardest things we fished. I mean, we, we really, really did a lot of fishing for this tournament. And then they, they did big bass, too. So that was top three. We had Joe, me, and then Eddie. And then Eddie actually won big bass with that mm -hmm. 25 and a quarter he was just telling you about. I came in second for big bass at 23 and a quarter. Actually, me and a gentleman named Chris tied for uh, second place on big bass. You don't you don't get anything for big bass, but and then Joe came in fourth at 23. So it was close. Eddie actually blew us out of the water on big bass. His big bass was two inches bigger than everybody else's. Yeah. And I actually had big bass for a while, mm -hmm. and I thought I had it locked down. And then Eddie came over to my <laughs> lake and caught the freaking lake record yeah. <laughs> sitting down caught the fish straight up yeah it, it was nuts yeah it was it was it was an experience and then um on top of all, all that i think i'm not sure exactly how many places get prizes but i know for sure top five at least top five yeah top five had to get and uh man it was it was crazy because anybody could enter this tournament so there was people from all of all over the u.s fishing and that's what was pretty amazing to me that we actually came in second and third to be be able to go out here and beat that many anglers that and there's some good anglers out there don't get me wrong I mean some of these guys are catching studs and uh, we're just blessed to, to come in second and third place speaking of this tournament if you want to get on it there's a fall classic and it actually starts on the first of September Okay. So, so next month. Yeah. Next month, ticket sales already started. It's simple. Like you, you go to Brian Lat, like shopblat.com, and you buy. I think this time I bought uh, some spinnerbait trailers. Like they were ten dollars with shipping. And once you place that order, they email you a code. You download this Fishing Chaos app, and uh, you type in your code, and bam, you're submitted. You can't buy into the tournament. The only way you can get in is if you buy something from his shop. Which actually comes out even better because you're getting something, you're buying some, you're getting something out of it, and you can get the cheapest thing on there. And you know, usually when you go fish a tournament at a lake or something, you're gonna pay between uh, 50 to 100 bucks just to enter that tournament. So you can waste li as little as 10 bucks, get something out of it, and then fish the tournament for the entire month, which yep. is pretty dang cool. But I wanted to talk a little bit about how this tournament like changed our ways of fishing because it really, really did. We are actually right right now fishing, doing a, a whole entire video on how to fish deep. And that's kind of what we learned over the course of this tournament is how to fish deep. And it just, it turned out, I feel like we went to the next level as an angler, especially, I feel like Adam really, really went to the next level. Yeah, man, be honest with you, I was just a bank beater. You know, I'd throw something at the bank, drag it back to the boat. But ever since we, I've kind of really been trying to get into knowing my graphs and stuff on my boat, and I don't have anything fancy. This is just what came with the boat when I bought it. There's, I don't even have side imaging. I think Eddie's got side mm -hmm. imaging. I don't even got that, but just kind of figuring out well, it's hot out. You know, we're fishing a power plant lake. It can get up to 100 degrees, and the fish are going to be deep unless it's early morning or late evening. Typically, they're going to be out deep during the day, and just trolling around using the graph, saying, "Oh, that looks like a fish. That looks like a fish," and then throwing at them, figuring out what they want to eat, trying different baits, you know, it, de it definitely, even fishing in a little pond boat at my house, breaking that lake down the same way. So if, if you're having trouble generating a bite in summer, just tie on a big old worm and drag it across the bottom of the lake, yep. you're bound to knock one on the head eventually. And it takes a lot of patience sometimes, like like today has been a slow bite, but we've just been kind of patient. Adam's actually been doing pretty good. I've only got one, but it just takes a lot of patience. It's one of those things you kind of got to stick with and then it'll pay off in the end. So yeah, I thought that was really cool that we actually got to fish this tournament, learn a lot from it, you know, become better anglers from it, other than just beating the bank, like he said, it forced us to get out of our element and learn new things, which absolutely paid off that we can carry on to other tournaments, you know, for the next tournament and not just that, but other tournaments in the future. So I thought that was really, really cool that we learned all of that. Yeah, if y'all like this tournament video, like I said, we have that one coming up. We're gonna we're gonna mm -hmm. fish that one again. That'll be a series of videos I'm sure Eddie's gonna yep. put out. But also we have a frog only tournament coming up again. I know oh, y'all yeah. like those. Yep. And uh, something I've been trying to talk Eddie into, y'all might have to get in the comments and help push him into it. But 
he actually has an opportunity to start his own online tournament for subscribers. Yeah. So go ahead. So yeah, we're gonna get into all of that. Uh, I do. I I eventually will do it. It's just I'm trying to get over fishing all these other tournaments, you know. And once kind of the tournaments slow down, then. I'm gonna try to get my own tournament started and let let you guys kind of decide what we should do, how we should do it, and stuff like that. And then um, anybody, like all you subscribers that are big fishermen, will be able to fish it for fun, and you know, and it'll just be a, a great, great thing to bring all my subscribers in together, new subscribers that want to join. Everybody will be able to join it, and it'll be just like the ones me and Adam are fishing now, except I'll be the one hosting them. So I think uh, that's definitely going to be in the future. I'm not sure exactly when, but it is coming. And uh, we've already kind of got things started, rolling, figured things out for how what we have to do. We just have to do it now. So. And we need to know you guys are interested in it. So drop mm -hmm. it in the comments that that's something you want to do. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. That way we know we'll have enough people to do it because we don't want to do it and have like me and Adam against each other. Yeah, because we have to come out here and fish against him every day. I'm just going to hurt his feelings. He's going to get beat every time. It's going to hurt our friendship. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed these tournament videos, please, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you're new, make sure you go check out all the other the series of videos that we dropped leading up to this one. That way you kind of get caught up and see what happened. It was crazy crazy stuff that went on so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next one peace